very All good. Right. Anyway, guys, if you love songs from the 80s, 90s, or the early 2000s, then you definitely know what time it is. Yes, it's time for the best throwback songs of all time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And these throwback songs aren't limited to just those seasons, I tell you. We also look at songs that were some of the biggest hits, but, you know, dominated the charts like even us recently as six years ago kind and like are one. evergreen. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the yeah. 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 Absolutely, yeah. guys. I'm loving it already. Now, you are welcome to our Write Down Memory. Lane, and you know it's incomplete without you, of course. Now, you can be a part of this excitement this afternoon by tweeting to us at TVC Connect, of course, to the popular hashtag eSplash on TVC, mm -hmm. and by calling us on the numbers on the screen. Now, to catch in on all our internet enabled devices, just go to www.tvcentertainment.tv. It's your girl Amanda Dara, and today you can call me Amanda, Amanda Dara. Dara. I yeah. knew it! Yeah, you got it today. You gotta, gotta stay unpredictable in life. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope predicted that one. <laughs> Guys, my name is Paula Dele, and like I always say, welcome aboard. All right, so it's your girl, it's your home girl, it's Joel in the crowd, it's the host of the most. My name is Honeypot, ladies and gentlemen. All righty. Hey. Today on the show, guys, here's what we have planned for you. There's entertainment news coming up very, very soon, and then there'll be celebrity birthday shout outs. Then Rewind, where you will take you through a quick history lesson of today in entertainment history. Mm -hmm. All right, after that, I will take us over to the tweet field corner for some humor and savagery from social media. Alrighty, then Where Are They Now comes up right after where you find out which of your favorite Nigerian artists from back then we are talking about today. All right, later we'll do some ranting on the treat of segments, then bring you a recap of all that you missed in the news. Then on Daily Top 5, we'll be looking at five throwback men styles. I can't wait for this, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, right after that, our guests will join us on the show. So let's get this show started already. East Flash will be back after this break. <laughs> all right, guys, it is time for entertainment news. So let's get right into it. Spider-Man to be dropped from Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, Marvel Studios, the studio that owns the film rights to the Spider-Man um, franchise, is set to split from Sony Pictures. According to reports, this shocking decision will lead to the removal of the Spider-Man version of Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Sources stated that the issue started when Disney asked the, um, that the financing for future Spider-Man films be 50-50, a deal Sony reportedly turned down. A statement released by Sony states that the company was disappointed by Disney's demand for a greater stake in the Spider-Man films and their proposal to scale down the involvement of Marvel president in the movies. Now, if you would recall, in 2015, Sony entered into an agreement with the Disney-owned Marvel Studios to share the Spider-Man character. Mm. Wow. I wonder what this means for Spider-Man, though, you guys. Uh, so the first time I saw this, mm -hmm. you know that Mike is a movie buff. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, who's that person <laughs> you, that you want to go to for movies? Just go to Mike. Yeah. So I saw him, he put it up on Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to feel if spoils because it was just like a news, like a breaking news that he just put up. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to know how mm -hmm. Mike, who loves movies, would feel about this. Mm -hmm. But for me, I don't know, whatever rocks their boat, you know? I mean, I'm not so particular about it, but, you know, uh, Spider-Man is just something that you know we have always known yeah. yes. and then all of a sudden and then well. so I wonder how they even came to that conclusion at the mm -hmm. end of today. Okay so the way I see it I actually think it's a good move for Disney Pictures actually because uh, before they merged with Sony Pictures Spider-Man was a very strong character yeah. on its own. Yeah. Now if you look at the series in the in the Marvel collection on the Marvel Studios unit yeah. um, I feel like Spider-Man didn't have his own, like he didn't, he didn't have a very strong um, character or a strong, um, how would I put it? His character or his movie wasn't as strong as it should be when it was a standalone, mm. when it was with Disney mm. Pictures. And I feel this is a good move for them because they don't have to do profit sharing. They have full yeah. control mm. of their rights and everything. So I actually think it's a very good move for um, yeah. Disney. And I've also actually. heard a couple of people say that the more recent Spider-Man series, I think the ones that have um, Tom Holland as Peter Parker have not been as great as the ones where, um, what's his name, Andrew Garfield had the last one I'm where he stopped. Say, like yeah. the spotlight, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. The spotlight, even in the Spider-Man series, wasn't on him. Yeah. Now he's in the movies, but yeah. the spotlight isn't on him. He's overshadowed by uh, Tony Starks and the other characters. Yeah. He's more like, almost like uh, a sub-lead mm. instead of a lead character, mm -hmm. which is not Spider-Man. 
watch the original Spider-Man, Spider-Man is a huge superhero yeah. on his own. Yeah. So I actually feel that this is even better for um, Disney Pictures, for them to be on their own. And it's a loss to Marvel, actually. And that's the way I see it. But well, if uh, these are the things that informs the decision, what yeah, you just talked yeah. about, I think it's just fantastic. When you can take in, you know, uh, what you're making at the end of the day, you don't want to be at a loss. And yeah. then you are looking at what people mm. will feel. I mean, the people who are going to be watching mm -hmm. it. That mm -hmm. is, you care about the people. So yeah. if this, if uh, these are the things that, that informs their decisions, oh my God, it's all right. Yeah. It's well, good. We'll see how yeah. it goes. I mean, Marvel has other movies in their, under their belt. So we'll see how it goes. Which is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's crazy. So they have so many characters that sometimes I feel some of the characters are watered down. Mm. So it's okay. It's like, mm. I want to see, um, what's the name of the female character? Uh, I want to see her on Captain her America. own. Um, no. not, not Captain Marvel, the no. other one. Oh, oh yeah, even Captain Marvel, like she came out on her own, but everything is just so Black watered, Widow. watered down. Mm. So I think I'm in support of that decision anyways. Mm. But moving on to some more news, Billie Eilish mocks Lil Nas X. American singer Billie Eilish has dethroned Lil Nas X's old time road on the Billboard Hot 100 with her song Bad Guy. Now, after sitting at the number two spot for nine weeks, this accomplishment ended old time's road reign by Lil Nas X featuring Billie Ray Cyrus, which had, of course, been at the number one spot on the Billboard charts for 19 weeks. Rapper Lil Nas X took to Twitter to congratulate the 17 year old singer, writing, Congratulations to Billie Eilish, you deserve this. Billie Eilish, however, responded to the congratulatory tweet on her Insta story in a very funny way. Now she wrote, and I quote, I know he mad on the low, LMAO, but thank you, B, I love you. Billy Eilish bad guys video already had over 476 million views and counting since it was released four million, um, four months ago. <laughs> you see, there's so many millions, millions there, I know. Like, you just get, yes. like, we yes. were talking views, about though. this earlier. Views, though, yeah. We were talking about views earlier. Honestly, Abroad, views are... In <laughs> four months, you have... 470 Bruh, in two days, million you can get to like three, what? four million. Do we need to do better? What's the course down here that people don't have that so, number of? Um, interestingly enough, I, I don't know how true this is, but someone has an opinion that it's because uh, there's still a larger percentage of Nigerians that don't have access to Wi-Fi and internet. So this could be a reason why mm -hmm. when you're thinking of the views. So yes, we have the huge population, but there's still a very large percentage of people who don't know have access to Wi-Fi or yeah, internet. What do you think about that? I mean, there's that to be fair but there's also the fact that i mean the culture the music culture is heavily in the overseas yeah. so that's where most of the people but, are but funny enough you see guys these days youths they're going on the road they have their airplanes yeah. so you're wondering but why what are they listening to <laughs> <on> the <point? laughs> Old Town Road. That's my point. so the music culture is centralized in the overseas in the uk in the us oh, in true. all those parts and so you're it's almost like you're competing with so it's like nigeria versus UK mm -hmm. and US or Ghana versus, it's not, it's, it's I don't not see that same. happening for a while, even though it's shifting, it's moving around, it's coming to us. But <laughs> then this, the, I mean, I have to say that they are doing amazing. I mean, Lil Nas X is, I think, 19, 20, going on yeah. 20. Yeah. Um, Billy Eilish is 18, 17, also, yeah. 17 18, 18, 18. And you have, she's estimated about $5 million right now. Uh, Lil Nas X2 is doing very well, mm -hmm. fantastic. His song was number one for 19 for weeks. 19 like, weeks. oh my God, these guys weeks. are teenagers, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. And they're doing this well. It's mind blowing. Wow, Amanda, are you trying amazing. to depress us? Ah, no, I'm oh, just trying to, I'm trying to inspire, to perspire. Oh to my inspire. God. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so I was actually thinking about what Amanda said. So many times this crosses my mind. Like, I'm just wondering, like, why is it that? Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Why me, Lord? Is it God, when? But, God. but when, you, when, when, when you look at other factors, as we talked about Wi-Fi, we talked about, you know, you yeah. go to other mm -hmm. climbs and you see that you're in their mall, or you, you're even at the airport and then you can use Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Where are, when are we going to get there here? I mean, mm. there are so many things stopping yeah, people. People in there. Ah. Okay. So, are you trying to depress us? Yes, I am. To be fair, <laughs> this one, I even own it with my chest. Honestly, we need to move. <laughs> we I'm need glad. To move. I mean, if you look at, I was having this conversation about the, um, the other day, if you look at before all these shows like Skinny Girl in Transit, which mm -hmm. got a lot of buzz online, yeah. back then they wouldn't have. They started off with like 2,000 views when yes, you yes. know Wi-Fi and, and yeah, data wasn't as starting, cheap and affordable yeah. as it is now. Okay. So we're moving slowly. I just wish it would be quicker. What did it take for Ghana um, for the airports in Accra to have? Um, what's it called? To have free Wi-Fi everywhere. They're, they're also very small. They're much smaller in population they're much smaller. size. So okay, maybe that now, is what it is. I, I don't think mm. it is what it is. So we can't enter this conversation right now because I got a very sudden... I was I wanted to weigh my friend's, um, you know, uh, thoughts about mm. Nigeria yesterday and he had never been to Nigeria and just went, oh, 
I hear negative things. So it's almost like what you told me about how another person feels yeah. about Nigeria. So this person feels, oh, South Africa and Nigeria on, are on the same level when it comes to security and all that. I can't sleep with you, your two eyes closed and all that. So I, I became very sad. So I don't even know how long it will take us to get there. Yeah. And the fact that we can actually get there, but we are just a set of unruly people, mm -hmm. it saddens me a lot. But That's what is But on, on the bright side of it, we also have people who are making it big time. We have the kids, we have the Davy Do's, we have the other people who are the young people, the burner boys who yeah. are coming out to change the narrative. As you said, maybe we wish it would move a bit faster, faster. and maybe not just in the music mm. sector. Even though we have uh, actresses, we have Genevieve, we have Omotola. Yeah. Like, they're doing big things. We it's have just, people doing do big things, people. but these things are slowing them down. We have pilots, we have yeah. female pilots, we have, yeah. you know, we have people doing great things, people inventing stuff every day. Maybe we need a PR person. For maybe this. for, for Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes, we show people the good things that are happening. But we wanted to rebrand one time like that. Great nation, yeah. something, something. Okay. All right. Okay. So, well, let's move on. And finally, Liam Emsworth files for divorce from Miley Cyrus. Hollywood actor Liam Emsworth has officially filed divorce papers to end his marriage to Miley Cyrus. The 29 year old actor who filed the papers in Los Angeles cited considerable differences as the reason for the split. According to sources, Liam and Miley had a prenup, meaning they kept their earnings during the marriage separate so there won't be a fight over money also since no kids are involved the divorce is expected to be a peaceful one Miley Cyrus and Liam Emsworth uh, married back in December and news of this place broke this month uh, yikes. this makes me very sad honestly speaking like as I said the last time we talked about this Miley Cyrus and Liam Emsworth thing I said I think that they started life too early because they met at 15 16 and you know well, she because was 16 yeah she yeah, was 16 she was, and yeah. he was a little bit it was older, older. Yeah, yeah. and um, you know because they're so famous everything's on the fast lane but I also feel like do you think that the fact that they have all these uh, signings and agreements and prenups is the reason why marriages are so easy to dissolve I don't think so I don't, don't think, think so. so I don't think so because even people because even people who don't have prenups like when you want to get out of something, you want to get out of it, whether or not there's a prenup. Some people are willing to l lose stuff. So I don't understand the point of getting married if everything is just so, like, separate. Ah, I'm my own, you know, I have my own business, I have my own career, I yeah. have my own path, I have my own interests. You know, there's no, like, real merging of the two parties. Let me That's answer what that question. Mm. So I think that in a place like, I'll speak for Nigeria because I'm Nigerian. I feel like in Nigeria we're quite religious about it. And um, when you look at our parents, they've stayed in marriages because they study marriages because you know divorce is not an option yes. whether because of religion whether because of culture whatever it is but staying in marriage is basically by force <laughs> and then abroad they're a bit more realistic they're not as religious of course and so they're a bit, at least the general population they're a bit more realistic they're like look we love each other now but anything can happen someday let's just secure the bag but in Nigeria, it's like, ah, no matter what, divorce is not an option. I believe strongly in divorce is not an option. Mm. But, I mean, they don't. And mm. so that's why you find that happening. So I think I agree with you. And why did I say that? Did you see this um, clip of, uh, it was just one case. Maybe I, just, I should just call it a clip that Charlie Boyd put out. Mm. So now they are being realistic. And that you are in love with this person at the moment does not mean things will not change. Never say never. So I understand that fact that you're getting into these things. And that is why we have vows and you're saying that, oh, and you're taking your vows. But these days, people are even changing it from the conventional vows that we have, you know, <laughs> or we had then. People are changing their vows. They make it what suits them at the end of the day. Which is why I'm saying, are you sure that's not a recipe for disaster? Because at the end of the day, if you're going to come, I mean, religious angles, it's for better or worse. But it seems like with them, it's for better. I'm in love with you now, so, so we're going to be cool now. But once it's worse, I'm out. So the thing is, the different kinds of people getting married these days, right? So for me, to have decided to get married, like I would have gone to do some research on what marriage really is. If I'm religious, then I'll do research on marriage from the religious perspective. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people these days, maybe they just get married because we're in love, that, let's do it. But you might need to like, start, so it depends on what your beliefs are. So for me, my values are Christianity. And so I would want to know the Christian way to do marriage. And so that would guide my, my decisions and all that I do in marriage. Mm -hmm. But for Miley who, 
um, I think she was raised Christian, if I remember well, but maybe she isn't practicing that. And so for her, she doesn't care about the Christian way to do it. That's, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it depends on what you get into marriage for. What you, the reason for getting into something is what will sustain it. So I told you I was talking to somebody, and that person told me that, see, I am not enjoying my marriage, but we die here. We die because here. he does not even believe in. So whether we like it, whether we don't like it, we die here. Very creepy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we will not die. <laughs> Amen. 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 See, I love the conversations that happen here a lot of times. All right, guys, moving swiftly along from the entertainment news, it's time for a celebrity birthday shout out. Yes, so celebra celebrating today, rather, are the following people the original Azama, hmm. Slim Case. He turns, can you guys guess? 34! Wow, like I can't believe it! Wow. Wow. Well, you know. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he turns 34 today. You know you have Fantastic. to be a bit skeptical with Nigerian ages because we don't know I don't know why you put We are talking about national image. Trust what he's saying. He said hey, he's that's true, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> when we get to this, I hope that I will be the one to... <laughs> Slim case, you are 34 today. Okay, so Thank that we you. can talk about this. Happy <laughs> birthday, my brother. <laughs> All right, guys. And also celebrating today, Ace producer and sound engineer, T.Y. Mix. Yes, yes, he is also celebrating today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Why you've made some monster hits, my dear yes, friend. Yes, yes, yes. And um, yeah, happy birthday to you guys and to everyone else out there celebrating today. Have a wonderful, wonderful celebration. Yes, yeah. indeed. Well, guess what? Uh -huh. Anytime I hear this particular song, yeah. in the car, anywhere, I am just happy. Oh, like, what are you capable of? Hmm. I'm capable of so many things. And what are you, know, you capable and of? Please do not ask me that question <laughs> on TV again because, for Ladele, you know me too well. Okay, so now guys, get into the deal. savagery has started already because this is Tweetville where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and craziness on social media. And of course, I have, I don't know, savage people here. Capable yeah. people. Capable people. Yeah, we are ready, Amanda. Are you capable of two I, I am capable. Do it, baby. All right. So this is Tom. Coming out mischievously from a door, and it says, After this one, I will not redraw anything from my account again. If I won't die, make I die. <laughs> Five minutes later, I am carrying out 2K out of your account. In fact, <laughs> your account balance is remaining. You can't even redraw it again. Have you ever come to that point where you yes. can't even redraw it oh, again? Course. It's I a shame. Go. No, you won't go to the ATM and then you order. You'll be pressed order. <laughs> you guys, there is a bank. <laughs> That. <laughs> the least you can, that like you can't take. If once you have two k in your account, you can't withdraw it. Eh? Eh? What no. rich people's bank? No, it's no. a lie. So I have three k. Oh my lord! I want to take out five k. Have you ever got to a point that. where you have below one k? Maybe you have like seven hundred. You now need to buy a time. That's yeah. this guy. Yes, yes, that yes. That's this person. <laughs> but it's very bad. My friend was telling me about how you are very, very down there, and you're like, order five on zero. <laughs> And they're like, <laughs> the, we only do multiples of 1,000 here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, moving on I to some more it. tweets. Okay. Okay, this one is from Pegasus. And he says, Dear ladies, if after a break up with your boyfriend and another guy comes to tell you, how can a guy hurt such a beautiful oh, girl gosh. like you? Run, no. That one wants to finish. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I, I agree like with this one. one here. Yeah. Hmm. See, when guys want something, when people want something, no, when guys want, let me not try and even mm -hmm. be. So they are really giving us relationship advice. When okay. guys want something, they are very, they will say anything to get what they want. And when they get it, Jackpa. Mm. How so, can a guy or such a beautiful girl like you, mm. Demon? I said you not do the same thing. So no, where, me, on, where I have a problem is, you know, when you're too quick to spoil other people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might, what they, how they treated you might not be good, mm. but... He might say it later, but not like, ah, that guy is, that is he deep. treated you this way. Ah, beware of such people like that. That is deep. Because that's all you're seeing. All you're seeing is beautiful girls. So, you are, you, I don't know. Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's probably the issue. How do you know point. it didn't hurt me because ah. my character stinks? Why? <laughs> oh. Exactly. You guys are deep today. Run away, oh run away from people like that. People. <laughs> Okay, this one is from Balaji Billions, and he says, oh, "My queen, my queen. When queen asks for five thousand naira, kingdom will scatter. Igwe will run." Then <laughs> Zadi. Now, okay, this is from Balaji. So Zadi Ajala now replied and said, "A queen that cannot afford five thousand naira by herself, without the help of a man, is a, is a money queen." <laughs> Oh wait, my wait, God, wait, did wait, I just wait, laugh wait. like that? No, who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? Wait, who Daddy is this person? Dry joke Thursday. You are savage. Please, the one is mannequin, no, but ah. you know, for the sake of the joke, let me just use mannequin. Mannequin. Like, <laughs> 
love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, this one is from Kinsey Swords. Accidentally eats fruit seed. Friend. <laughs> OMG. You know it's going to grow in your stomach. Seven year old me. Aki. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I think they did this to all Agbali of us, more. right? Oh my goodness. I always thought that orange would start growing. And the weirdest part is that actually I watched one video, right, where it started growing. Go in on. No, 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 guys, I'm not even lying. It was growing in the lungs of a person, like a seed. Or like Boy, it is only Amanda that will watch such videos. I mean, I'm how? How? She's so what? And I'm not even lying. So don't I know, I know that you're not lying. But no, it's only you in this world that will watch such movies. <laughs> but don't be scared, don't be scared. It's I'm not going to grow. Through you. What? <laughs> All right, moving on to some more tweets. This one is from Nungwa Mr. Bean. Hmm. Imagine when your imagine when your rent is due <laughs> and boom, your sugar daddy dies. Hmm. Ha! You will cry more than his wife. And they'll be asking you think they're hard because what? there is no way what's bothering you, you know, look there are situations where you just know that village people are fanning themselves with your no. picture this there is a classic how can it be that it's the, same that the same day how the rent finishes your sugar daddy that uh uh but yeah. a queen that cannot afford her rent who is, is it that a money, a money queen but guess what you know yeah, the, the sugar queen. daddy that is now good is that type of um <laughs> what's that what's that movie again I don't remember. Hello. That Ebony Life movie. Put it in that daddy, daddy. Daddy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so it is. The, that's the kind of true sugar that that when it dies, you already gave you a lot of money. So when you're going to his will. funeral, you are slain to his funeral. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't be a mannequin. That's it on Twitterville. Don't be. Don't be a mannequin. And the world is mannequin though. Don't be a mannequin. <laughs> don't be having sugar daddies. There's so many don't be here. <laughs> That's not the only one. Anyway, thank you so much, Mandy. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, stick around. Um, East Watch continues after this break. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That was one of my favorite Nigerian songs. No, I, I have time. to say something. Respect to Faladeli and Honey Pot. See, if you don't know this song from beginning to the end, what for you are not their mates. We got you. Faladeli was rapping everything. We got you. From beginning yeah. to the end. Yeah. Wow. Yes. The end well, I think it's such a fantastic song. It fantastic is, song. Fantastic. One fantastic. of my favorite songs. Fantastic. fantastic. Song, yeah. And nice is always right there mm -hmm. for me. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, he talks about our culture. And because music is universal at the end of the day, yeah. you saw Nikki Tall the other day when yeah. he came on the yeah. show. A German for crying out loud. And he was singing it word for word. So what excuse do I have as a Nigerian? <laughs> and then he had to bring two faces nice in, to Baba yeah. in. And, you know, lovely, it was just a nice... <gasps> the chemistry was wow. Lovely. Well, welcome back to the show. It is Entertainment Splash. And so far, we've brought you the news, celebrity birthday, shout outs, rewind, tweet bill, and of course, where are they now? It is now time for us to chew it off in a minute or less. One of us is going to vent about what's currently bothering her. Yes. Who has been bothered today? So, I don't uh -huh. think I am bothered. Ooh. But then, let me talk about this. I don't know. Have you ever been ashamed? Hmm. Have you ever thought that or felt that your uh, worth is being calculated by the number of years mm. or the breath that you have taken in this world? <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and it goes, it's vice versa. So sometimes you see a group of older people and then you are the youngest and the way yeah. they talk yeah. about yeah. you, the way, yeah. they, uh, like, the way they treat you yeah. just mm. because they are older than yeah. you, it's so irritating. And now let's flip it. Yes. So now you see that there are so many times that, okay, the other time when we're doing birthday shout outs and um you know you talked about the age of yeah, uh, slim yeah, case yeah. and um I, I don't know maybe we're trying to like oh is that his age and all that yeah. so people uh complain every time like oh people are trying to bring down their age mm -hmm. football mm -hmm. age and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. so there is always a reason for this mm -hmm. because sometimes when you're getting old and i don't even know particularly in nigeria yeah. because in other climes you find entertainers who are older and people still respect their crafts they still love what they do they yeah. still believe that they can do yeah. it you know and all that but then when you come down to Nigeria, they believe that once you're into entertainment, you have to be very, very young. So when you're getting old, or older, so they start saying stuff like, oh, this person is too old to do this, so, which there is no, and you know, every time they say, it's all this motivational speakers, they'll say that some people even started out or they blew at 30, some people blew 50, yeah. like whatever thing, whether you're starting a company, do not think that yeah. it is too late for you to yeah. start. So I think that it is now a thing to age shame people, Honestly. whether you're young or you're old. And as you old. said, it goes both ways. And it goes both hmm. ways. And I think we should... personal experience. 
well, well, I've had personal experiences yeah. like that, but then I think that we should just calm down mm -hmm. because, I mean, why is this? But yeah. don't you think it's a part of our culture? So, I think that the where culture... To make age and respect and all that. Yes, such now, a even deal. in the family so where you have an elder sister and you can't call her by her name. Even if it's one year, sister. They sister. can't buy one day in the market. <laughs> That's so, true. I think culture has played a big part. part. A big part but I think right? we're also in an era where we're unlearning and relearning mm. and all that. So, the things you thought you knew before, you're starting to find ways that they might be offensive and trying to unlearn those things and learn new ways of handling things. So I think even though culture has played a part for years, it's also worth being open to learning now that Yes, we're, because we're, I think yeah. that at the end of the day, uh, you know, if you're age saving somebody because you think that that person is old, now you're going to get there. That yeah. is even if you're privileged because yeah. getting old is Honestly. a privilege denied to so many people. So many people died like when they were younger than that. So at the end of the day, when you see somebody and you think that, oh, because at the end of the day, everybody is old. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Today, this year, you said celebrate your birthday, you are older. So at the end of the day, everybody is old. We are all old and I think, in this life. And I think, age, and because I've seen that happen with older people and then mm. you're the youngest, and I like, ah, what do you even know, that kind of thing. Yes, but the I reason think I said the, it goes the focus should be, what can that person bring to do, the table? Yeah. Exactly. What, is, what can you exactly. do? What are your skills? What, mm. what, how competent are you? Mm. And that should be the focus, not so much age. We've seen 20-year-old yes. billionaires. We've seen as a millionaires. Yeah. Let me not Very exaggerate. True. But, you know, we've seen 50-year-old millionaires. We've seen 80. It's, look, life is life. And... If you can do it, you can do it. And that's all it should be about. And that is why some people concentrate so much. So you see, especially women, they're looking at surgery because yeah. they feel that, oh, when they get to a certain stage, uh, you'll be talking about their wrinkles. And so they're doing the buttock trying stuff. To they're trying age. to, yes, they're looking for mm -hmm. creams that won't. You know? I mean, on the, on the flip side of it, things are also changing and mm -hmm. evolving for the better. I mean, nowadays people are coming out to campaign and say, I love my stretch marks, I love my wrinkles, I love who I am, how I because am, my body shape. So, point. yes. It's this conversation cannot be as well tight for Wow, yes. so Moving move. on. <laughs> Especially with the fact that so we have people here who have gray hair and they had it since when they were. Wow, young. honey boys. Who are you shading though? Who are you shading? Wow. Who has gray hair? Honey? I have gray and I'm proud. Okay. Oh. okay. So I have gray hair and I've had gray hair since. So the secondary school is true. Secondary school. So and there are so many <laughs> like that. And so when you see me and you say, ah! I'm going to honestly, <laughs> I will so beat you. Oh, <laughs> yes. We don't have violence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, moving on on the show. It's time for a quick recap of entertainment news. And we started with this one, Spider-Man to be dropped from Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. Billy Eilish mocks Lil Nas X. And finally, Liam M. saw the files for divorce from Miley Cyrus. Okay, so let us know you're watching the show by calling us on the numbers on the screen and tweeting to us at TVC Connect with the hashtag is Splash on TVC. We are on Instagram too with the same handle. All right, let's go on this commercial break and we'll definitely return. Stay here with us. It is a Splash. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for Daily Top 5 on Entertainment Splash. And today we are going to be talking about throwback male hairstyles. Hmm. Hmm. hmm, right? Are you guys excited? Oh my gosh. No? Okay. Well, the 80s was a decade that contributed a great deal to popular culture. Changes in music, clothing, styles, and even hairstyles have survived through till today. Now, some popular 80s styles for men lost favor for, for a time, but seem to have circled back to today. So let's take a look at five of the throwback hairstyles for men. Number one, hard parted fade. Mm. Now, partings or parts, like they call it, were a cool guy and girl staple in the early 90s. Salt and Pepper were doing it. Johnny Gill was doing it. Tupac even did it. Parts were everywhere. What was even more popular than a regular part was the multi-level fade that came with it. Yes. So it wasn't enough to just have low hair and just put parts. Like, <laughs> there was a swag of, like, the hair is high up. And and, and still put parts you know, on the it. beautiful thing about all these hairstyles is that they have all come back again. Yeah, People yeah. are doing this again, but maybe not in this same Yeah, not, way. I don't know that. Not Would you date thing. a guy who... <laughs> Fashion revolves. Yeah, yeah so, not re this one has not revolved no, yet. So, no, 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 this, this particular one. So, but the first one, the one that is just like a line. Just the pattern yes, alone. Just the pattern alone, But yes. the multi-level part. So, guys, guys, you'll that be that surprised one. that you see that there is a particular guy that has been doing this, that you say, ah, ah, because the guy just feels that this is what suits me. <laughs> and because it is not, like, in vogue, yeah. one person might just be doing it in this world. It's Even possible, in this that's, very yeah, possible. Really, that's very yeah, possible. That's very possible. You're right about that. Can you... Is hairstyle like a thing? <laughs> Honey, no, but oh, oh, don't use your eye to intimidate me. Ah. I will ask you. 
Is hairstyle a deal breaker? They better for show you? me how I am. How I am eyeing you? Are you all right? Is no, hairstyle a deal breaker for you? Well, like, you don't want to bring a no, funny like, looking I, I, guy. I'm interested in this answer, really. So you, don't, you don't want me to bring a funny looking guy and say, well, Adele, because even if I introduce to you, now let me tell you about these two people. So well, I should say, for so, trouble. Uh, no, I'm coming to you, Amanda. So if I say, well, Adele, meet my boyfriend. So if well, Adele will say, she will smile, she will see you. Well, you know what? We are going to have that conversation later. Yep. Now, let me come to Amanda. I say, Amanda, meet my. So, Amanda is going to be civil, smile, but guess what? We're not going to have that conversation. That's but one day, one day. When you break up. That's when Amanda day, will be like. Day. I always wondered about his hair. Even when I saw you say this. And Amanda has the sweetest face. This one, winch, then will snake inside. I'm like. Remember, we broke up. Oh wow! I always wondered about this. Yeah. Amanda is sweet, like <laughs> like a cat, like <laughs> sweet. Wow! I was on your side a few minutes ago. Oh my goodness! We're just going to move on with hairstyles. Yes. <laughs> All right, the second hairstyle on our list is Jerry curls. Yes, one very popular style amongst African American men of the era was the Jerry curl. Now the hairstyle was made popular by Michael Jackson about the time when his album Thriller was released. Another singer who spotted the Jerry curl was Lionel Richie, mm -hmm. especially during his time as a lead singer for the Commodores. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Oh my goodness. But then the Jerry curl, like the one that. Uh, Even Women the did the it. short ones are those, are those not Jerry curls as well? Yeah, like the, the ones, ones that, that the, even the, yeah, because look at Lionel Richie's one is shorter, mm. but Michael Jackson's one is more dramatic. Really and then it long. comes to the front. Yeah, it I mean, to the front. I, when, when I think Jerry curls nowadays, I think of Pastor Chris. Yeah. Is that a Jerry curl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That is still very much in fashion. Yeah, yeah people still do it. But it's been the funky. Chris's, though. Uh, Pastor Chris oh, oh, yeah, Oyakilome. Yeah. Yeah. And his followers, too, some of them, when you want to know that they are. What's that? Okay, so let's get to number three. I think that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> that. So that is the flat. Oh my god. It's the flat top. Now, some people here in Nigeria call it punk, but it's actually the flat top. In the late 80s and early 90s, the flat top went viral, probably sending the sales uh, clippers through the roof because everyone just wanted to do it. The flat top features hair on the sides of the head lowered, keeping the focus on top of the head. Remember, though, the top has to be shaped in a flat shape. Think Will Smith as the Fresh Prince of Bear. Now, though the flat top was, uh, or well, has actually waned in popularity since then, the cut can easily be tweaked to make it uh, relevant for the modern Definitely. man. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> at the time, you were just interrupting me. What is it in this life? Honeypot, I really, <laughs> look. Just pass, fly home. Don't use your camcorder. They will lynch you. Anyway. You were not there. You said you wanted to sell me the other day, but let's talk about the flat top. Oh my gosh! So this is another hairstyle that I feel like um, could be a deal breaker. In a it, it, no, it has also come back as well. This particular one. My ex used to have it. Wow! Oh, wow. That was your ex, Cause girl. <laughs> Cause girl. What is this that the producer has brought today? We cannot even concentrate on this. What is that? Are you like? Are you a bricklayer? Is that house on your head? What? No. Okay. That's why he's here. No, That's no. He's in his, he's actually like making me cry on national TV. In his defense, it looks, you know, some people, some guys that average heights, it helps to add to the. <laughs> You're not going home. Like, I am sweating. I am sweating already. I can't. But this was a big thing back then. And then, I mean, Will Smith was a big deal back then. And so, obviously, you have guys who saw him as their role model mm. and would want to do it because he was doing it. Yeah. Look. If you were just a cool guy back then, whatever you were carrying on your head, I feel like they would still just go on That's with you. True. Um, I, I've seen it come back now, but in cooler ways. So it's not that high. Like you're carrying mm. a house on your head. No, it's, it's like, not. But some people also make it, I mean, it's a statement. The Ote crowd. Who, yeah, the Ote crowd yeah, are coming true. back with it. They're mm. coming back with this style. But yes, as you said, the ones that are like not so high are still mm very fashionable yeah all right guys <laughs> <laughs> i love this this is a mess today <laughs> only point with me guys moving on to the next hairstyle from way back dreadlocks most people associated dreadlocks with the 60s and the 70s the look is practically synonymous with bob marley who of course apart from his music mm -hmm. but the premise of the style stretches back thousands of years like braiding dreads gather together hair into bigger strands but unlike braiding dreads encourage the hair to grow into matted twists and this one has definitely come back yeah. in funkier ways, there's sister locks, there's this locks, yeah, and in 
Anita Wins. To be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Bob Marley, but that kind of Bob Marley kind of uh, dreads was very yeah, 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 yeah. all over the place. Yeah, now it's, it's Nita and it's, I mean, look at uh, OJ. OJ has a dreads yeah, as well. So yeah. it's, it's Nita and it's, it's you know. I think even when they have it scattered mm. like that these days, they take care of, because I have a friend too who has an tax, and I was even asking what, how many years he has spent, you know. But yeah. I moved close one day. It smelled good, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I feel like I prefer the ones that you can see the individual strands to the ones that are just like... Clumpy. What do they call? I think they call those ones Dada, Abby. Yeah, the ones that are not Dada. Everything is that. Every dread is Dada, Yeah, but right? the, the, the... Okay, so I think Dada comes with... So a lot of kids when they're... Or I know kids who when they're born, mm -hmm. the hair comes like that and so it's Dada. So it's not the locked one that has been yeah. made nice. It's the natural one oh. that's clumpy. Oh. I think almost like the Bob Marley vibe ah, going so on. Oh, yeah. I see. And then there's the start. <laughs> Oh, I'm I don't done. think, wow, nah. Imagine really? dying in like, what? white. That, wow, you look like. But when you grow old, African it, it turns white. But like, there's what? still some black. Not in I've anymore. not seen any. If you're not treating it, you're not dyeing yeah. it, you're not adding colors to it, it could be totally white. So this one's clearly dyed. He wouldn't <laughs> did too much and go with his beard. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly dyed. Oh, God. I right, am done. Let's just move on, okay. guys. Let's talk about something safe. Afro is safe, right? <laughs> Let's take safe. All right, so we all know how the Afro hairstyle was a popping hairdo back then, yes. It was originated by black women in the 1960s, but it became a style for men as well as women. Now, it was even said that men who had a fro back then were followed by women like a magnet. Yes, <laughs> this was it. This was the thing you needed. Now, we had the likes of the Jackson 5, Billy Preston, as popular fro rockers back then. Even my dad had this massive, yeah, the fro massive well. fro. Like all mm. of the dudes I know, mm. even my dad, yeah. when you even look at yeah, you hang your comb in there. Ah. And some people still do it, they do it, like they find it very hard to cut their hair. Yeah. Mm. And I know somebody that so when he got married, he had to cut, maybe the woman did not like you know, her. But I, I, I still have a, nat a natural endearment towards no, of course, yeah, because I feel, cool. yeah. I feel like even as he, as they said, even for women, our natural hair is usually in a fro. Mm -hmm. So I wish it would come back and be, you know, more popularized and more open to, like I would like to rock a fro to the show that but not nice. in this world where things are changing and we have like 35 genders and then we we'll do this and wow. then they think wow. no i'm just wow. My, wow. okay so wow. sometimes i wow. wonder how i think okay wow. it's fine guys, can we move on guys it's a wrap oh, it's fine it's a wrap it's totally on daily fine. top five yes it's totally fine it's totally fine it's totally fine. all right 35 genders moving on we're going on the commercial break we'll be right back after this break mm-hmm it is time for Trending Thursday. Unfortunately, our guest will not be joining us today. There's a lot of traffic out there, and unfortunately, he can't be here. But we move regardless. We yeah, move. The show must go on. Yes. So we are doing Trending Thursday right about now. Guys, we are going to be talking about some of the stories that have gotten our attention on social media in recent times. Mm -hmm. And this is one that everyone has been talking about, and it's Toy Abraham giving birth and causing controversy, and of course others oh, as yeah. well who have given birth. Um, the trend of good news that has, yeah. you know, has so, plagued in this case. Baby, that, baby rain. The baby rain, Honestly. the engagement rain, everything good happening right now. So guys. So let, let's start with, uh, you know. Toy uh, Abraham. No, Toy had a baby. Uh, Ronke Ruth Odusoya had a baby. Had a baby. Ruth, um, Kadiri. Uh, Ruth, Ruth Kadiri. Ruth Kadiri is pregnant. Oh, she, has, she has reportedly had a baby about... Oh, some, really? Yeah, well, has. the last time I saw it, it was she just a baby the bump, bump. Yeah. And then it was just the baby bump she, uh, you know, unveiled. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Baba Ijebu's sister. Oh, so Ijebu, they call him Ijebu. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he uploaded a picture. At first, he did not say anything. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And I looked at his face. It was as... I said, ah, was it the one who went Somebody into delivery? Was like, that was why I thought, honestly, honestly. <laughs> honestly, because the way I saw his face. So it was now days after that. I now saw that um, they said the mother of the baby passed on. Oh. And uh, the mother is a sister, um, is a sister. Yeah. sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and he already named the baby Anito. Mm -hmm. That was a very sad one. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what yeah, can we yeah. say? And of course, I did do a black um, yes, gold. Yes, I did do a black gold. Before actually, before the birth of the baby, of Tony Amimako's baby, we saw that she was engaged. She mm -hmm. became engaged, and so she showed her rings and all that. Yeah, and that people, such an interesting honestly, announcement, by the way. Like uh, uh, she put the she ring, and then there was gospel music playing. So <laughs> and then she was talking about half, after 13 years. 13 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah, after, yeah, she, I think she was, was married, 13, and then she she, um, she was married. She, and she talked she, about that when she came she, on the she show. she talked about it when she came. So after 13 years, She's, um, you know, looking at getting married again. All right, interesting. And we wish them Baby the very season. best. Like, yes, mm. we, we congratulated people here on the show. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, people would not let it just be 
there, like the good news, just stay there. So people have been making a lot of drama. And we know Nollywood, especially Yoruba Nollywood for this. I mean, beef. this is such a, and I, I keep wondering why is there beef here and there? So Faladele, you won't talk about this, especially yeah. the Titans. Okay, so basically, um, and like you said, it's good news, but of course with good news sometimes comes a lot of drama. And that's what we've seen in the cases that we've talked about. So now, good news has happened and then the towing titans who are towing uh, abraham sorry had diehard fans mm -hmm. they, call, they call themselves the titans. titans so they're the ones looking on, you know how beyonce has behaved <laughs> they're the ones looking on social media do you congratulate our mommy the, are you talking bad about our mommy? Hmm. Did it, did it, did it. So they'll come. So, so I think it started from the fact that they hid it for so long. Yeah. I mean, nobody actually knew she was even married. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew she mm -hmm. had a baby. Mm -hmm. She was even, even times when they met her husband and yeah. asked for confirmation, they kept denying the rumors. Mm -hmm. So everybody was surprised that how many people were at these baby showers and everybody mm -hmm. kept, it. Kept, it kept it under wraps. Ah, which is something. So I mean, that, is, that is a good pass to you. Even for, mm -hmm. for the Yoruba party, the Yoruba actresses are uh -uh, kudos. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> what is even there now, honey? That they could achieve that. Why are you surprised? No, 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 actually, it's a big, it's deal. A big deal. All right. It's a big deal. So, so there's that, but um, what we've also seen is that there seems to be a lot of beef in this industry as well. Even though there's so many people congratulating her. There seems to be like a lot of hidden beef that maybe Tony has fallen out with people mm -hmm. like uh, Wumi Toriola, like um, Funke Akindele. I think there was an issue mm -hmm. there sometime because mm -hmm. when she uploaded yeah. um, her picture to say congrats, people were like, oh my gosh, sis, we've been waiting for this. Oh my gosh, ah, you have a good heart. So, so may I interrupt you? I don't even understand <sighs> this one sometimes. Honestly, they cause commotion. Commotion. So for you don't no know reason. that person's thoughts and then you're there saying, what if they met before that time and they said they, they exchanged pleasantries and you were not there? You didn't see it. They didn't make it obvious. My yeah. thought, exactly. Now, and the way I see it here, I feel it's very good that people were able to keep it quiet. And I think one reason, one of the things that Tony Abraham is trying to do is keep her personal life out of social media. Because if you check so on her page, past. she has deleted a lot of her posts. She's like, you know what? I want to keep this part of my life private. But here's the thing. The people that she thinks are her inner circle, I feel like those are the issues and the fans that are the issues because at the end of the day coming to your baby shower and taking a picture with you and posting on instagram doesn't mean we're friends mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're wishing me well doesn't mean anything actually yeah, honestly like but the then people, people now make it such a like, big deal it's yeah. like if you haven't posted you are a hater as yeah. you said what if they made calls what if they sent gifts what if they were even there with you in the labor room so nobody I, knows so i think that um i mean in all i think that we have a lot of people that are just hypocrites a bunch of hypocrites even when they have said congratulations to you does not still mean that they mean you well uh, they mean well for you but but it does not still now I mean, when they wish you, when they don't wish you, does not mean yeah. that that person does not wi exactly. well, you know, wish you well. And I think this is where we have to split this conversation into two. So there's the part of, we have to talk about fans who put pressure on celebrities to openly react, to publicly declare whatever, whether it's congratulations mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we also have to talk about fans who find it's a, it's a movement, it's a, it's a bond, whatever, it's a, a union. They formed a union and they're happy for you, but then they now like, you know, the, the things they say. So, for example, the woman material thing now. Um, you know what? There's so much to talk about. I'm going to get into that woman material gist, which is another one. And mm -hmm. I blame fans for that. But that will be after this break. Let's go on this break and we'll be back to talk some more. Turning Thursday on Entertainment Smash. Yes, welcome back to the show. And before we went on that break, we've been talking about the wave of good news in, not, in the Nollywood industry right I now. Should, I think you should say the wave of good news. <laughs> I think that's, hey, that's the wave it. of good news. <laughs> because it's good news on the surface, but it's also come with a lot of drama mm -hmm. and a lot of drama that fans have also <laughs> brought in themselves. And so um, before we went on that break, I was saying, let's talk about Umi Toriola, Lizzie Andre, and Tony Abraham. So this is another side to it. So you have the people who congratulated her, like the mm -hmm. Funkyakin delay and all that and in Ketchi Blessing and those people. Then you have the Wumi Toriola people who, um, Wumi Toriola, I think, she, so she didn't put out anything mm -hmm. and then uh, Lizzie Andre also didn't put out anything whereas mm -hmm. she put something out for Ronkel Dusoya mm -hmm. to say congratulations and all that you're back um, moving and the yeah. And then the Titans then came on Lizzie Andre's page. <laughs> I just imagine this is what they were like. How will you not put something? How come you did not comment on our mommy? But you commented on Ronkel? 
And then Lizzie Andre be like, yo, I only celebrate people who celebrate me. And this is what we say. You don't know what goes on behind She'll the scenes. Be honest. Why do I have to put up something because other she people She doesn't, are... she doesn't. I wish she didn't even answer that thing yes, at all. I, I wish, wish she, she didn't did even yeah, give it yeah. a comment yes, or a reply yes. because who cares? Like, mm -hmm. why should you care what I post? It's not your post. It's my Instagram. What I decide to post is my business. So mm -hmm. I wish she didn't say it because yeah. now it now seemed like a thing of, oh, I'm not going to celebrate her because we are having, it now looked like they are having some issues, which I don't know if they are. Whereas that's not the right thing to do. I feel like, as you said, sometimes fans constigate a lot of issues for mm. no reason. Now, another thing I was talking about with this, uh, everybody coming online and posting and saying congratulations is that some people, their ulterior motive is to get more popular. Because whether you like it or not, it was trending. Yeah. If you just use hashtag Tony Ibrahim, hashtag baby, hashtag Tony <laughs> Titan, <laughs> you are getting massive <laughs> engagement. So I'm not even going to be about that. I, sometimes I feel that love is just, I want attention drawn to my side. Okay. So, <laughs> Okay, well, we, we have a call. Yeah, oh my God. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. You would like to weigh in on this? Oh, my God. Hi, Hello? Oh, yes, we know. Please go on. Hi, Collins. Go on. You have 30 seconds. What is the question? Oh. oh my Did God. you just call to say hi? Wow. Okay, I think okay, Collins just wanted Collins, to yeah. hear our voices or hear his voice on the show. I don't know, but <laughs> thanks for calling, Collins. So I really do agree with Amanda because I see that these days people do anything for clout. People do anything to be popular. So you see that a matter is training and then you just get yourself involved so that, you know, you can have a lot of follow or more followers, uh, or, or, you know, and the way people do it or they, do, they use the mom. hashtag and or they use the hashtag when the picture does not even say anything about the hashtag at all. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Those people say this stuff. I'm ah, telling you. So what is Banky like this was going to have to do with your shoes? So let's talk about entitlement. So yeah. when you feel this sense of entitlement that, okay, because it's my birthday, it's my wedding, it's my, you know, mm -hmm. child's dedication, and you think that people should always congratulate you. People don't have to co congratulate you. Yeah. And I think that it, it boils down to validation too. Yeah. So you have done this and you're grateful. You do not have to look at the distractions. Mm. So I think that this is what makes the society these days. And that is the reason why we are where we are, thinking every time that, you know, when somebody does not congratulate you or somebody does the not wish you happy like birthday, you. Does, yes. the person does not like you, the person did not post your picture. And I'm glad you said that, Honeypot, because this is the final place I want us to go with this conversation. So moving away from the people, because Tony might have even been too tired to see who congratulated yes, her or not. True. I've not even had time to reply. So let's move to the people who are pressuring people to congratulate people and for example the towing titans in this case mm -hmm. it's fine when you have fans and all that but when your fans are pushing negativity is that on you as the person Especially being found out on the yes and that's where i'm going with yeah. this so the womitorial thing someone came out was like i've been i'm a towing titan i've been sent from toy and you know i wish you that in your own um I, the, uh, I want to hear news that womitorial died from labor and i'm like what that is ever is that deep too deep fine i know womitorial hasn't been has been quite expressive and in a negative way um towards so in the past, mm -hmm. I mean, when the news of her engagement came out, the stuff she said, I know that has come up in the past, that they don't, they're not on great terms or whatever. But then, is it that deep that you wish death upon someone because you're a towing titan? And then you go as far as saying, towing sent me, where it's possible that the towing didn't send you. So the thing is, I think it can be controlled. Why are you using this fandom for I negativity? Don't think can. I, I don't So think I can. think that it can be controlled a bit. Okay. Oh. So now, if towing would come out mm. and post and say that, see, address her followers and say, Titans, see, we're not about okay, negativity. Okay. We're about positivity here. And I do not, I stand for this. This is what my brand stands for. And she keeps saying it, you know. Anybody who falls okay, out of that, that, she openly denies the person. I think it can be done. I, I like that. Can, I, I think really like that idea, actually. I think it can really, so really if be one, controlled. So if one Tony Titan messes up, then you just put it up and be like, but on disclaimer. But the flip <laughs> end of things, I wish people would stop fighting in public spaces. Because uh, Wumi Toriola also came for uh, Toy Abraham, yeah. saying that, because uh, I think there was a time someone got engaged or they bought a new house or some vendor was involved and she said some people will come up online and say venza and buying a house is not an achievement so why are you making so much noise about yeah, your engagement yeah. i thought marriage is not an achievement yeah. so i feel like at the same time don't come for people openly if you don't want an open backlash mm. you know keep your opinions to yourself and now at the same time don't fight another person's battle That's because let's consign you with are you toying abraham are you carrying the child no, but are, you I'm a the titan. Is, are you the one that is married <laughs> 
I don't know. Okay, I don't so we have to move on from this, guys. I am so tired I of think, this. Honorable, you know what? I think that's someone who really wants to weigh okay, in before we so do move on. Let's so, hi, Maureen. Good afternoon. Hi. Maureen, you're our final call. You have wow. to. We lost the call. Maureen. Yeah, go. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for calling me. No, no, we have to say moral of the story. What's moral of this, of this story? Ah, okay, for the me, moral, moral of the story. I'm pointing them out. Yeah, I think for me, my, the moral of the story for me would be um, fans are playing a part in negativity and that needs to stop. Mm. It's okay to be excited about someone and want to celebrate them. Mm -hmm. So in Titans, that's great. But when you start getting in business, like, you don't even know the genesis or revelation of one. And two, don't put pressure on people to mm -hmm. congratulate people. You don't know mm -hmm. what goes on behind the scenes. I might have called her. I just didn't put it on social media. Just push good vibes, yes. please, guys. Yes. Push good vibes. There is nothing like, you know, being happy for yourself and being happy for other people. And I would I mean, say that don't just be validated by social media posts mm. and hashtags and congratulations. Just keep your inner circle close. And I actually like the fact that Tony kept that private, that part of her life private. So, and to yeah. those fans who always go out, all those people just come on Instagram on other people's pages saying nonsense, be warned. One Day they will see you face to face, and it will be worse than Mr. Pamilary and Perez's matter. Okay. All right, so can we move on? Fine. Another one has dropped, and wow. Twisby has finished. Okay. okay, so finally, tomorrow is Friday. Do not forget to send in your selfie request, upload your selfie, <laughs> upload your selfie request, and be sure to incorporate Pepsi in a creative way. Do a selfie in the most creative possible way and win a ticket to see Hobbs and Shaw. Remember to tag TVC and Pepsi when you do it to stand a chance. Now you can go on our Instagram page, Activity Connect, to find out more. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Honeypot. The Peace. Savage. No, don't Peace. act like, don't no, act no, like, no, you no, don't no, say no, something no, that no. killed me. No. Your Peace. name is the Savage Honey for today. Peace. Savage Honey Peace. I'm going. See Thank you guys you. tomorrow. Your name is for like a guys. <laughs>